Yamaha Pacifica Standard Plus. Let's go into this guitar, guys. I wanted to make a demo video uh, talking about this guitar because it's something that's super cool. I've had it for about two weeks and I wanted to do a demo video on this guitar. And I want to do something different. My boy Mike from Yamaha sent this to me and I had an idea. I said, why don't we demo this guitar out? But instead of just kind of grabbing, playing it, talking about the specs, why don't we put it in a studio environment and really test the guitar out? Let's find out all the different dynamics of tones that you can get out of this thing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to demo this guitar out in while I'm actually producing guitar tracks for a song. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's dive into this. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about the specs, play it a little bit so that way you guys can get familiar with the different options you have. And then we'll dive right into a studio session and produce a song up, produce the guitar tracks for a song with this guitar. Another thing I needed to do this video, I needed a separate multi-tracking system other than my studio, because I'm going to be using my studio to actually produce a song. And I needed a separate system that way I can play everything back through uh, and record it in a different setup. So I asked Alan and Heath, these guys are amazing. They sent me this mixer this digital mixer, the Allen and Heath CQ18T. This thing is unbelievable. It's a live mixer. Uh, it's got the chip of all their stuff, so it's got all the real nice bells and whistles from the software that they do on their big consoles. And this thing also multi-tracks at the same time. It's so cool. I'm, I'm probably going to use this thing nonstop. I'm going to use it on tour. I'm going to take it on tour with me. That way I can multi-track my guitar, record that separately from everybody else, edit my videos. This thing is endless. It's endless. The things that it has, you guys need to go look at a YouTube video on this uh, digital mixer. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Alan Heath CQ18T. Thank you guys for sending me this mixer. All right, so let's dive into the Yamaha Pacifica Standard Plus. Let's go into some of the specs that this thing has. This thing has some really cool stuff that I want to talk about. Um, you have, obviously, this guitar is like an S-style guitar. This is the Sparkle Blue uh, finish that I have. It's an S-style guitar. It's got the humbucker, single coil, single coil pickup configuration. It's got the five-way switch. Reflectone pickups created in collaboration with Rupert Neve. Whoa, that's like a big deal. I'm a studio guy, so when I hear... When I hear Rupert Neve, it's like, whoa, my gosh, that guy is just a straight legend. He's a straight legend. Uh, his his preamps are legendary. So um, I can just imagine when I when I heard about that, I was like, I want to hear these pickups, man. I want to hear what this, what how they sound, and uh, they're super cool, man. Super nice pickups. And you guys out there know when you get a guitar, the pickups is like eighty percent of your tone just in those pickups. Uh, so it's a very very important piece of equipment on the guitar. Let's hear this thing. Actually, let me go through the uh, the rest of the of the specs here. Um, it has a slim C-shaped maple neck with satin finish. That satin finish is really nice, you guys, on a neck. Man, really, really, really nice. Um, rose, rosewood fingerboard with medium stainless steel frets. And it comes with a gig bag. So... First, what I want to do is I'm just going to I I'm going to have uh, my amp set. This is the um, CR amps version two that I have on the HX here. HX stop is a great call if you guys are looking for an actual digital type amp simulation type thing. Uh, my actual preset comes with two different apps, one on the left, another one on the right. It comes with my um, my IR signature IRs that I created with Andres Castro. These things sound great. Let's go to the first position. The pickup selector is all the way to the top. Let's get that real nice spanky type tone. Let's keep going. Let's go to the the second position uh, from the top. Third position from the top. Okay, fourth from the top. All the way to the bottom, this is the humbucker.
What's cool about this option is that you have the split coil option on this and the split coil, it's not gonna drastically change your volume. A lot of guitars, they have that option and you go from humbucker to single coil and you lose a lot of dB, but on this thing, not at all. I'm gonna play both options so you can hear the difference and it's super cool how you don't drastically change volume. Okay, split coil, let's go to single coil. How cool is that, man? You don't, you don't, it doesn't freak you out. Like a lot of times you'll be playing on a guitar and it just throws your pedals off because then, you know, your gain completely changes. This thing keeps it pretty constant, which is very useful when you're in live playing and you don't want to, you don't have to reset all your pedals to match your tone. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we heard some different pickup options of the guitar. Now I want to do, I want to dive into a studio session and kind of like create all the different tones of a song and play them and record them with you guys here with me so we can experience this whole thing together and really see what the Pacifica Standard Plus can do. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play this the chorus for you so you can kind of hear what's going on here. This song is not finished. I still have program drums on here. I'm gonna redo drums. The vocal you're going to hear is completely scratched. She just did it on her cell phone. So it's going to say, all this stuff is going to change. But I do want to record the final guitar tracks right now. So let's hear the chorus. All right, we'll lower down the click a little bit. So one thing that I do is when I first uh, start uh, do producing guitar tracks. I start with like the, the overdrive guitar parts. So when this song gets pretty aggressive, so I already know I'm going to go to my humbucker. Let's go to my humbucker. I raise up the gain a little bit on my amp, on my overdrive here. There you go. It's got some nice little pop there. So let's record just the actual overdrive parts first. I probably won't do the whole song for the sake of the video because it might get a little boring for you, but let's just record this first chorus so you can get a feel for the tone that I'm going to get at and how it fits to the song. Let's record this chorus. Perfect. Uh, this is my good friend, Kathy Joanne. I'm going to produce this song for her and it's going to be super cool. We've got this, you know, this new movement within the the Christian Latin scene. It's like an evangelical worship type stuff. And this, I, that's kind of the vision I had for this song. Something pretty powerful that'll work great in churches. The song, the message is amazing. The lyrics are great. It's obviously a Spanish song. So yeah, there you go. Uh, now let's start putting all the other pieces together of this song. All right, so I already went through and I recorded all of the overdrive parts for the song. Uh, came out really cool. Really took advantage of that humbucker on the guitar to really pull out those aggressive fat tones for, for those sections. Now, what I typically do, that's the first thing I do. The second thing that I do is record all of the ambient tones, like in the verses and stuff like that. So what I did, I'm going to my first pickup switch, the one all the way on top. I got some verb. I got some delay. Let's take a listen at the sound I got out of this guitar. Super cool. So you can notice that I, it's panned a little bit. I panned it on purpose. I really wanted to get that like, you know, as I start laying the guitar parts, I want them to come out through different sides, you know, take advantage of that stereo image. So it's just, you know, the really nice shimmer reverb with delay.
really taking advantage of these real nice pickups. Real nice ambient tones. All right, let's record it in the song now. Um, and let's hear how this sounds. Now, I'm not going to play a whole lot because I don't want to get in the way of the piano. I'm just layering some different type of textures on the song. This is the first layer. I think I'm going to put I'm going to put one more layer on top of this. Let's record it. Nice. I did not want to, I didn't want to get in the way of the song. I'm really watching that, letting the piano take over right there. So what I'm going to do now, I can already tell, I want to put another texture on top of that. I'm going to pan to the other side and I'm going to wash the verb a whole lot more. And I'm going to just like layer a pad right underneath that from the very beginning, from the very top. And this is like, it's almost like if you have a piano, you have a like a like a warm pad, but it's not coming from an actual piano. It's coming from a guitar. All right, let's take a listen to this tone. Now for this, let's try some of the other pickups. I think I want to do the second, the the I don't know if it's the fourth position or what. It's the second one from the top. Let's get that like drone type of tone. Let's record that. We recorded ambient tones. Um, so what I want to do now, I like to stack lead lines. A lot of times it'll be with a piano, but I'll stack it with an actual electric guitar. After, um, when the song starts, there's a lead line, but it's too, it's, there's way too much space for me to do that. It's way too chill for me to re stack that with the lead guitar. But now, in the, after the first chorus, it calms down but it gives me space to actually put a lead guitar on top of the the piano uh, melody that we have. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna go do my my second from the bottom. I guess is I don't know what position this is, but it's the second one from all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to play this lead time, this lead line. Mm -hmm. 
I do have verb on top of that. I have some delay. I might bring down the verb later on, uh, but I like the way it feels right there. So let's record this. So I want to stack now all the different melody lines and stuff and all the little bells and whistles that are going to put the song together. And I'm a huge sucker for slides. So I have a slide here on this song. I wanted to put something a little mysterious sounding on the pre-chorus. Let's take a listen to this pre-chorus over here on Pro Tools. Right there. There you go. So I'm just going to ramp into that part. So let's put a slide in this particular pre-chorus. Um, I think it's going to ramp the song into that chorus. Let's, let's give this a shot. Okay, so we got verses, we got pre-chorus slides, we have ambient tones. Now it's time to put some of the meat and potatoes in this song. I want to put a, a, a aggressive, in a sense, like a lead tone in that chorus to give like a counter medley to that vocal part and to give the song energy because that's the chorus is a huge part, part of the song. It's super huge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my first position Um and use this pickup with my Mr. Jacks. And I really like the Mr. Jacks in choruses just because it's like almost like a lead distortion type sound. Let's take a listen to this. I'm going to record, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, let's figure it out right now, but that's kind of the idea, that particular guitar tone is the idea, so uh, I'm going to put my pre-roll back on over here, and let's record this chorus part on top of that uh, vocal part, um, I think this is going to add a lot to the song, as far as effects, I have my ping pong delay, and I have a little bit of verb on top of that, not too much verb, I don't want it to wash out the, the actual part itself, so let's record this. <laughs> So we recorded the choruses, I copied over, I flew over some of those chorus parts to the end. And at the end, we do two different choruses. And uh, I wanted to do something for that last chorus, like an improv type lead line that's the more aggressive, but not so busy that it gets in the way of the vocal. So what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of using the top pickup to that single chord, I'm going to go over to my humbucker, basically pull out the most aggressive tone that this guitar has to offer and really kind of get that part to scream out in that last section. So let's record something. I have an idea of like, um, the song shoots up half a step, so I'm gonna do something crazy like a. Something like that. I'm gonna pan it to this side because I want the part to come out on the other side. Let's record this that I have in my head.
Okay, so for that bridge, it's got a very tight feel to it. So I'm going to do more palm mutant stuff. I got that ping pong. I'm going to crank the crank up the ping pong delay. <laughs> Something like that, and then when it the second half, because it goes twice as long, I'm going to do something a little bit higher. That way, it doesn't it changes the feel a little bit to it. So let's record that. So it's time for the solo and I always leave this part for the very end of my session because I need to feel like I'm most connected with the song. And in this song, the guitar solo changes keys. So you have this big old like wow moment. So I have to kick it in with something super aggressive. Obviously, I'm not like a really crazy fast player. So I, I look for other ways to convey that aggression. So I have an idea that I want to do. Let's see if I can pull this thing off. And as far as tone is concerned, I'm going to stay with that humbucker because that, like I said, that's the most aggressive sound that I can get out of the guitar. It sounds super cool. Uh, I typically like to go to my treble pickup when it's something that I want to really screech out of the mix. I want something to stick out. I want to make a statement. So I typically go to that pickup anyway. So it's a great sounding pickup, especially for that. So let's give this a shot. Let's see what comes out, you guys. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this particular solo. It's not that it's complicated. It just, it just to me, it makes a statement and it's in the perfect place. Uh, on this song. Let's give it a shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo video. It's just kind of me breaking down a song and just, you know, with this guitar, which I was thoroughly impressed with all the tones that I was able to get out of this thing. Everything that I needed was in this guitar. The ambient tones, the, um, the real aggressive stuff, uh, even the stuff that's real ambient and aggressive. Everything was within my grasp on this standard plus model super cool yamaha pacifica standard plus you guys with rupert neve pickups amazing you guys get yourself one of these things it sounds it sounds really good if you like this video subscribe you know the whole process uh, i always got stuff coming up on my youtube channel god bless you guys